Yeah, what's up you guys? It is 4 a.m. I'm about to hit the gym. But before I did that, I just wanted to post this little challenge. Yesterday, I had a fantastic freaking hike with Benjamin Steiner. And one of the things that we talked about was really bouncing around in my head for a while. And I felt like I just had to share it this morning and uh, give you an opportunity to participate in it, okay? And it's this. One of the things that he loved about what I was doing was one of the lessons I learned as a teacher. And that is that, you know, we don't teach necessarily what we teach, but we teach how it is that we are in the world. And the best way to really drive home a lesson is to teach that lesson. So it's really all about, you know, being that thing, doing that thing that we're espousing. And I think that he could see that that was having a pretty profound influence in my life. And honestly, that's one of my favorite things about the Stoke is being the Stoke guy means that I'm constantly challenging myself to ask myself what that means and how do I live that and how do I demonstrate that? How do I become a shining example of what that is, right? And so um, what I'm going to ask for you guys to do today is to teach us something about your stoke. Have you come up with a new way to, you know, grow the stoke in your life, to focus on the stoke? Um, any little tips or tricks or aha moments that you've had as of recently? Um, I think that in this app, you can now add video. So if you want to challenge yourself and do a video like this, by all means, please do it. Um, I'm going to share mine now. And if you have to just write it, write it. If you want to do a photo, whatever's going to be best for you, right? Whatever serves this challenge for you the best right now. So the one that I'm going to share right now is just that. Okay, that was a good one. But I want to go a little further. And that is, I used to be terrible at decision making. So what I've started to do is, you know, this whole, I talk about working in your life and I, and working on your life. Well, I'm spending a decent amount of time working on my life. And what that means these days now is that I schedule out my day. I look at what it is that I'm going to do. And then I know I used to be terrible at making decisions. And so I would fill my calendar with just running around busy work. And now I have gotten to a point where I'm able to look at what are the, what are the things that I've got to get done? What am I doing for myself so that I'm in the Stoke zone while I'm getting those things done? And now I have routines that are built in and decision making does not have to be done. I don't have to use as much grit to do a thing. I just know I habitually get up at four, I come here and I do this. And I win the freaking day right away by doing that. Like I just feel great. I get all of the, you know, yummy endorphins and a whole cocktail of just delicious um, emotions and, um, and uh, chemicals, hormones, beautiful things that run through the body after a workout and it just sets me up for the day I've already proven that I've got the discipline that it takes to do the hard things um, it's just so this is one of my favorite things I know there was a lot there but that's because it's kind of holistic so the challenge to you is to share one of your wins lessons about um, living the stoke you know and then the lesson that I've just shared is really about um, working on your life, really prioritizing the things that help make you more of who you are and just building those in a habitual manner. That saves me and you, anyone that does this, so much time and energy and you're, you just create habits of winning. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Love you guys. This is just a bonus challenge and I can't wait to see what you put in here.